Welcome to this scene on Anatomy of the Eye. We're going to make the Anatomy of the Eye extremely easy and a lot of fun. So let's begin. We start with the outside, where we see the white sclera. The sclera is the outer supporting wall of the eyeball. If you want, you can imagine Scary Sarah, who we see over here, she is quite scary, to remind us of sclera. Scary Sarah for sclera. Alright, but now, let's take a look at the inside of the eye, in order to have a visual of the different structures in the eye. In the front of the eye over here, we see the cornea, which is why I like to imagine corn over here coming out of the cornea. Again, corn for cornea. The cornea is the transparent anterior part of the eye that shields the eye from dust and germs. It also acts as an outer lens, acting together with the lens which we'll talk about soon. Then we get to the pupil. The pupil I've made over here in purple, purple for pupil. This one doesn't really need a mnemonic, but I just did it to make the scene more fun. The pupil is in the center of the iris, which controls how much light gets in the eye. Eye over here is for iris. The iris is actually the colored part of your eye. So some people have a blue iris and some people have a brown iris. Then we come up to the lens. The lens, of course, is the transparent biconvex structure to focus light rays onto the retina. Now you may have noticed these suspensory ligaments over here. These change the shape of the lens. And who is tugging over here at the suspensory ligaments? I'm gonna have these guys over here with the silly bodies, who we could see better over here. Again, silly bodies for ciliary bodies. So these guys are going to remind us that the ciliary bodies control the muscles involved in changing the shape of the lens. Now there is another function of the ciliary bodies, and that's that they produce the aqueous humor. The aqueous humor travels through this area over here called the posterior chamber. This is between the lens and the iris and it travels through the pupil into the anterior chamber. From there, it drains into the trabecular network at the base of the iris. The remainder anatomy of the eye is fairly simple. Here we see the retinal vessels, which of course supply and drain blood from the eye. We see the retina in the back with the macula. For the macula, I like to imagine this mean Dracula guy. Mean Dracula for macula. The macula is this oval shape over here, about 5 millimeters in diameter, and it's responsible for sharp, detailed vision. And the center of it is known as the fovea. The optic nerve over here is responsible for transmitting the message from the eye to the brain. We mentioned also that the outer layer of the eye is known as the sclera, but there's also a middle layer, and this is known as the choroid. The choroid supplies nutrients to the retina. It also maintains the temperature of the eye due to its high vascularity. These are basically all the important structures that we need to know about the eye. Again, don't forget about Scary Sarah for Sclera. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Take care.